Okay, so what about the place of spiritual practices in this? And particularly framing it in terms of the, in the context of this year's crises, how important do you think spiritual practices are to support well-being? And you can see the picture there. It's a beautiful, for those who love their statistics, what a beautiful normal distribution we have in front of us there. <laughs> so what you can see there is about a third who say, um, no, spiritual practices are not important to people's well-being. A third who are saying fairly important. And then another third who are at the other end and saying very important. So there is an openness. If, you, if you're an optimist like me, you'll add the middle and the, you know, the, the top two together and say you've got about two-thirds of Australians who are saying at least spiritual practices are fairly or even more important to well-being. That is a posture of openness to spirituality. So we dove deeper. Whether or not you've used them, which of any of these spiritual practices appeal to you? I've highlighted the ones that come out on top. Spending time in nature or outdoors. More than half Australians say that appeals to me as something that would feed my spirit, feed my well-being. Music is also a critical, uh, critically important and rich source of um, nurture that moves or lifts people's spirits. And the third big one is prayer, meditation, or mindfulness practices. Then you can see down the list other things drop off. But this is what appeals to them. Nature, being outdoors, music, and those practices of prayer, meditation, or mindfulness. 